Okay, guys. Um, another. Let's have another chit chat. I. <laughs> this is gonna be short and sweet. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. I was not, <laughs> I don't know how to say this without sound, like coming off, it's bad. I was not created for this generation of dating. I feel like every time I get on, a dating app I find myself so disappointed so underwhelmed and just like I don't know okay let me say this part of the reason I think I struggle on dating apps I do think like to a certain extent social media has given <laughs> This is going to sound so bad. Okay. I feel like on dating apps, you're dating pretty superficially, right? Like you're basing your interest in people based off of a profile that consists of whatever pictures and whatever they other information they... <sighs> Sorry, I'm also tired. Whatever other information is filled out on their profile and for me i don't want to come off i don't want to sound mean saying this i do not find most of the men on dating apps attractive and i don't know if it's like do i just have extremely high standards like does it take like a lot for me to be well yes maybe i don't know basically i feel like it takes a lot for me to be phys find someone physically attractive and if i'm on a dating app where i'm have to base my interest in you off of your physical appearance it's like most people i'm not gonna find attractive um and if you don't show any like personality in your bio i'm not gonna swipe right on someone who i don't find physically attractive but also has nothing interesting about them or doesn't meet like other have any other interests for me to like like about them it's just not for me and i feel like how dating apps are formatted now it's just like i feel like i'm not meeting anyone <laughs> i'm not gonna find anyone i'm actually interested in off of a dating app at this point it's just it's not happening it's not happening for me babes and i just don't know why i continue sorry y'all why i even continue putting myself out there on these dating apps to just be like very disappointed <laughs> every single time like disappointed and i don't know maybe i'm the problem maybe i just have like it's just very hard for me to like someone and if it's based off of just your looks you know my standards <laughs> my standards are a little bit i don't even want to say hi it's just like I don't see a lot of attractive people personally on my on my dating apps and maybe that just means I'm also not very attractive which is a possibility right like you attract I guess um to a certain extent yes yes and no I was gonna say like you attract what you are but at the same time I feel like someone who's really attractive is going to attract a lot of people and not all of those people that they attract they're necessarily going to be attracted to 
but I feel like it takes a lot for me to find someone attractive. Also, I feel like on social media, you can see so many like very attractive people that you kind of, it kind of like increases your expectations almost of men on dating apps. And maybe the same can be said for women, like maybe men, if they're following all of these like Instagram models or whatever, and then getting on dating apps, maybe they're not gonna find the average woman as attractive because they have this heightened um, sense of attractiveness. But for me personally, like at my dinner today with my friends, we were just talking about dating apps. And I was just like, I don't understand how people find people, how some of y'all are finding people on dating apps. I personally, I just don't see myself meeting someone. And I say this all the time. Every time I get on a dating app, I'm just like disappointed, <laughs> disappointed. And I feel like even when people message me, like, I don't know if it counts as ghosting if you never respond to someone but i like i can't even play the game like i can't even use dating apps correctly because uh like i'm trying to message people i have no interest in really and it's like i'll match with people because i'm swiping when i'm bored but i'm not actually interested and part of that is because I I don't feel like I'm really ready to date, but also like I'm not matching with people who I actually feel uh like are people I would really could really see myself with. And I feel like I'm just too intentional about dating to just like talk to a lot of people on dating apps it's overwhelming for me personally and that might sound weird i've i've always said like if i only had to date one person and then that was the person that i ended up marrying i would be perfectly fine with that like i would rather only date one person my entire life than like date so many people looking for that one person right I, it feels over I mean that might sound strange to say it's just it's just dating is not for me and like even thinking about the few dates I've been on in my lifetime which is about well I've been on dates with three people one of the people I went on three dates with and then called it quits because I did not feel like um I was as interested in them and after three dates I didn't feel like I was growing towards liking that person I didn't want to force anything um and I just didn't think it would be fair to like string someone along like that so you know I would just say like all of the dates I've been on at this point are dates that I could have survived without like it's not like they added anything to my to my life personally I don't care about getting a free meal either I feel like some pe I do feel like some women date as a way to like get free food and I'm just like I don't care that much about <laughs> about someone paying for my meal <laughs> or food like I can buy myself I buy myself food all the time I don't necessarily need a man just to get free food like it's not something that is a a goal of mine <sighs> I just think I'm not meant for I'm not meant for this but it also feels like where how else are you supposed to meet meet people I guess other than like my I just bit my tongue. Ouch. So, at my most of the jobs I've had, it's been mostly women that I've worked with. 
and I really did not find any of the men attractive. Also, after listening to my friend's escapades and dating, I'm realizing there's a lot of men out here who are just doing not great things. A lot of these men are just trash. They're users, abusers. I don't know. Like I said, I just think my standards are too high for the average person and dating apps are not meant for i feel like dating apps are better when you're like interested in dating a lot of people but for me i'm not interested in dating a lot of people so getting on dating apps honestly feels overwhelming to me and then having like i will say this i feel like as a woman to i don't know I do think like dating apps are probably different for men than they are for women. Um, for men, it seems like it's rare that they even find a match on dating apps for women. But I feel like the crazy thing is a lot of these men don't act like it. <laughs> they act like they have, I guess they probably do have options, but... <sighs> I really just find myself more and more frustrated. Is that the word I want to use? Frustrated, overwhelmed, annoyed, irritated, tired. Like, I just don't care. I don't care about dating the way that all the other people date. Like, dating apps just make me... Ugh. They overwhelm me. I also don't, it's just, I don't know. For me, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. And people always ask me like, oh, are you dating? Are you doing any of these things? And when I tell them no, they're like, they think there's something wrong with me. I don't think there's anything wrong with me. I think I'm just like, I don't like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like dating apps like that. I also don't like how dating apps, most dating apps work. Even like Hinge, which old people say is like supposed to be the better one and you'll get better quality men on there. I feel like I'm not meant to meet the person, um, my person on a dating app. And every time I get on them, I'm just reminded why I don't use them to begin with. And when I do use them, I never actually entertain anyone because it's just like I'm tr I'm trying to for I would be trying to force myself to do it, and I just like I'm not gonna I don't want to like mess with someone's emotions, you know, like. Getting on a dating app because you're bored and then messaging people and then you're just like, oh, I actually don't really care. It's just like I'm not serious enough about it. I know I'm not probably going to meet or go on dates with anybody. So it's just like I'm not going to waste my time matching with people I have no interest in. So that's my spiel. I don't know. It's just very like it's really hard for me and I feel like part of me is like I want to like someone and I just don't and I think like I have I can't like someone without knowing that their personality and I feel like the only way to know someone's personality um is to probably be friends with someone but I don't really have a lot of guy friends. I'm I've always been a girl's girl. Um I don't hate men or anything. I'm just not I also just don't think it's like I think that's the other part of it. It's just like being friends with men is not something that I strive. Like I'm not out here being like, let me go make friends with men on the street like that's also just not something i'm interested in 
So at the end of the day, I feel like I just don't foresee myself finding anyone on a dating app. I don't like using them. I don't like talking to multiple people. Like, I, if I'm interested in someone, I only want to talk to that person. I'm not going to want to be talking to, like, five different people at once. It's like, if I was doing stuff just for attention, then yeah. I honestly, real, one thing I've realized about me is, like, I don't, I don't care to get attention from men. <laughs> um, And I'm not saying that, like, it's a bad thing it's just like there's women who it's like they need that a uh, constant they seek male validation like they have to feel wanted by a man to feel validated and i've like i don't care like if someone likes me that i don't like why do what i care about that like i don't want attention <laughs> is that mean like i don't care about receiving attention from someone i'm not interested in right i would only care if that was someone i was interested in otherwise it's just like uncomfortable and also that's one of the reasons i hate getting hit on because i don't get hit on very often also there's that and I'm happy about it because I don't like it. Um, but when I have been hit on in the past, it just made me feel extremely uncomfortable. And like, like I don't want to, like you're putting me in a position to have to hurt your feelings almost. And I don't want to do that. But yeah, I don't know, y'all. I'm just not for the, I'm not for the, this generation of dating um i'm also just like i feel like it's kind of more traditional to a certain extent like i'm not going to be i'm not chasing a man i'm not chasing a man like i think a lot of there's a lot of men now who expect women to like chase them and pursue them and make the first move and i'm just not going to do that like personally if i have to chase you i don't want you <laughs> if i have to chase you i'm gonna find you unattractive first of all like i'm not attracted to you chasing a man and i'm also not gonna find you interesting at that point also i just don't think like i don't think I would chase a man who I don't feel like is interested in me. So I'm like, you would have to be showing me interest anyways. And if you're not showing me, but why would I be chasing you if you're showing me interest? You know, like, you see, that's just how I think about things. Like, I'm not going to chase a man. If you don't like me, you don't like me. And I can live with that. Um my standards for dating are high i guess i mean i don't even want to say they're high it's just like i have standards of who i will and who i won't date one of the standards is i will not date someone who smokes cigarettes or weed they both stink to me and i can't be around someone who smells bad it's like yeah i can't do that um that's a standard you know it's not necessarily a high standard it's just a standard that i have for my personal you know life my goals whatever um i would probably prefer not to date someone with kids um only because if you are dating someone who has kids, that means you have to be prepared to be either a step parent or um, parent to someone else's child, which means you're putting yourself in a position where you also have to respect the um, 
maybe it's like the the other biological parent and i feel like it's something that not everyone is equipped to do it's not something that i feel like is like a hard i wouldn't do it but i would not prefer to do it to date someone with kids personally you know, I also think, though, it's crazy to me that there's people with kids who are like, I would never date someone with kids. Like, you are the person you wouldn't date. Why would you ever make that something? But, y'all, some people are just like that. But, anyways, you know, your standards are your standards. My standards are my standards. I'm not going to say ones are high. Well, <laughs> that's not true some of y'all standards are extreme <laughs> some people's strand standards are extremely low like the bare minimum like he has to have a job girl it, why would he be dating you without one <laughs> without one like some people's standards are like that's just a given that's just a given because why are you dating a man who's unemployed to begin <laughs> i'm sorry i'm making myself laugh um yeah the bar is low for some of y'all um and i just i don't know it's just like to each their own at the end of the day if you tolerate certain things in your relationship that it's for it's up to each person to decide what they want and what they want in a partner but i feel like people who have lower standards to me it's like you either, <sighs> I don't want to say that having low standards means one of two things. It either means you've had a past relationship that was so abusive that the bare minimum seems great or you don't understand know your value as a person and so you are accepting the bare minimum from people but either way it's not good when someone has extremely low standards and is willing to date just uh, i don't want to say bottom of the barrel barrel but if you would literally date anybody that shows an in like an inch of attention to you like you're not dating with um intention i don't know i don't know and i feel like that would only happen if someone doesn't think they're like good enough and you should always believe you're good enough for somebody anyways that is my spiel for today another kind of rant about why it's like I always try, and at this point, I don't know why. I get on them, and then I'm just disappointed. And then I'm like, maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be different. And it's the same old, same old. Mind you, it's also like half the people you ma match with will not message you, will not respond to you. <sighs> and like I said, I'm just not for the, I'm not about to chase someone if you are not interested in showing me the effort or energy, I will not show, be returning it. Um, I don't really like shooting my shot because who are you? Like, it's not even that, like, who are you to shoot your shot? It's just like, why? I'm not going to shoot my shot at someone who I don't know if there's someone that I would want even want to be with, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I really just find it very oh, unattractive to chase a man. Which brings me into a quick caveat. Um, there's show Love is Blind. There's a girl named Janae and she's paired with... Um, this guy named Kenny and there's people calling her a pick me because she'd made like some jokes about oh like you honestly need me because who's gonna do this for you who's gonna do that for you who's gonna do this for you and the girl is joking but people took it 
like I guess seriously and we're like calling her a pick me mind you like episodes before this this man had come into the villa with another girl and she literally told him straight up if you can't decide between me and her I'll choose for you pick her you can pick her and I'll be <laughs> I'll be gone so the same girl who literally told this man I'm not about to chase you if you can't decide between me or her pick her you're calling her a pick me that's literally quite actually the exact opposite a pick me would have been begging would have been putting down this other girl would have been saying you need to I'm so much better than her because I do blah 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 anyways I just think like it's was very sorry i had to fix this because it was bothering me i just think it's very interesting how some people like will read so much into like people's jokes and then like ignore the r actual situation that happened which was her basically being like if you can't decide <laughs> if you can't decide between me and her you need to go ahead and pick this other girl because i'm not the one i'm not the one so yeah and i have so much respect for her for that i also think too like i don't know sometimes i feel like i do interpret things differently from other people but some people just seek to find issues with everything someone else does and i feel like those people are truly like miserable types of people because they always want to look for something to tear someone down um janae is a beautiful classy woman who everyone outside the villa who's left has had nothing but positive things to say about her saying how sweet how kind how caring thoughtful she is so i'm like for people to like you know try to bring her down because of a joke she made when you know i will say this the only thing i think though is and she even mentioned it herself how when she initially got upset with her current match who's kenny and was upset because he basically test brought another connection she was like humble enough to be like you know i was really only thinking about myself and how you choosing another person made me look and i didn't want to take another l and she kept make she kept mentioning taking l taking l taking l and i think this honestly shows that it was more her ego or pride that was hurt than like him actually choosing bringing back another girl you know and that's something I feel like where it's just like you can't let your her ego pretty much was what was talking and what was upset and I just think for her it was really nice seeing her like come to that realization and be like you know what I need to stay in my lane and some people take it as like her groveling but she was really just being like you know what she was trying doing the mature thing and being like you know what I'm not gonna like she said she wasn't gonna fight for this man but she took a step back and realized you know I was she was only thinking about things from her perspective didn't um try to like listen to what Kenny had to say and so I thought it was really immature for her to like later apologize to him and um, have a conversation and basically reflect on, you know, her own thoughts and also consider where he was coming from and hear him out. So she's shown nothing but like maturity in a lot of these situations, like I said, and the fact that she's able to acknowledge when she's in the wrong is also something very mature that I really like about her so she's one of my favorite girls in the villa i'm rooting for her to win in all aspects of life whether she wins the show or not i hope she comes out of the show just successful and empowered and continues to be you know the classy woman that she is mature woman that she is um but anyways I I don't know I just feel like I I really do try to see the best in people in those situations I think I find it really one thing I always think about is like p 
people who are so quick they see people on tv forget they're like actual human beings like some people tweet like the most like the most mean nastiest comments about people or making fun of someone's appearance making fun of the way they walk making fun of the way they talk Ooh, this girl's voice is annoying it's just like these are not characters these are real people with feelings and like social media i feel like has brought out a lot of ugly things as well like we have bull like online bullying basically um which is just so harmful and i really hope a lot of the people on this show don't come off and see all the negative things like you have to have tough skin to be on television in this day and age because like the girl Catherine who was on there she was getting like dragged people are being so mean calling her ugly calling her a fish she's a very pretty woman and people should not have been trying to bring her down just because oh well she's she paired up with this couple and she's ruining my couple that I like so we're just gonna tear her down I'm like first of all she's not the reason and you should not blame her or criticize her just because you want your couple to get back together it's just like people are so ugly and nasty online and it stinks and I feel bad this that's one of the reasons I don't think I would ever go on I would not go on that show I don't know if I would want to go on a tv show at all at this point I mean honestly posting my life on youtube is opens me up to the same amount of criticism but you know I don't have like millions of people looking <laughs> watching my videos so that's the only thing that makes me feel like like I might get some criticism but it's like minimal compared to having like hundreds or thousands of people you know commenting about you and trying to tear you down like man you gotta have some thick skin and also, I hope those people get counseling and realize, you know, <sighs> there's some people who just take stuff too seriously. People are just like, yeah. And people are so quick to turn. Like, one minute they love you, the next minute they're rooting for your downfall. Like, y'all can't even make up your mind about whether you like like this person or hate them. I feel bad for Rob, too. I feel like Rob got so much hate um, because of Leah's fan base, who's, like, obsessive. Like, I feel like her, Leah on Love Island, she has the most aggressive and obsessive fan base. And they are literally, like, still throwing shade at Rob. This man, like, obviously he's not perfect. Nobody, no one is. But, like, he doesn't deserve all of the hate he's been getting like people are still hating him just because they want to see him as like this terrible person I don't think he's a terrible person at all I don't think I don't think like he deserves the hate I mean no one really deserves to be hated because of choices they made on their t dating show that at the end of the day is for entertainment like you have to take a look like people forget like it's a reality show but it's also like you know, these people are sharing, are like, these people are not perfect, and they're sharing aspects of their self online, but, like, that doesn't give people the right to, like, trash them, because you still don't actually know them fully. Like, it's so weird in, I guess, media age, how people are, like, like, think about how many people in real life do you hate as much as people on TV? Like, these producers have have to create characters out of reality and so you know they want to try to paint someone as a villain and they want to try to paint someone as you know and people even recognize that like this person got a good edit this person got the villain edit and it's just like they try to make characters or archetypes out of people on these tv shows when in reality like no one's perfect all the time and no one's horrible all the time. Aaron's not that bad of a person as people are trying to make him seem. Yes, he did things that Kaylor probably is going to find hurtful, but that doesn't mean he's like a horrible person and doesn't care about anyone. I'm like, I'm sure he's, he's 
not like this evil person people are making him out to be a lot of times people are just projecting like their own it's just like people need to stop being so hateful and rude and mean to people and always wishing on people's downfall they're human beings and no one is perfect anyways i'm talking too much now that's all i have to say i don't want to do be on dating apps anymore it's ghetto out here i honestly don't know how i'm supposed to meet anybody but honestly it's barely a focus i feel like it's just like oh sometimes i feel pressure too because it's just like oh well if you want to be in a relationship you need to try by getting on dating apps but every time i do i'm just like this is the ghetto and i don't like it here so yeah that's all bye <laughs>